We've always got lots of projects happening at Harrop, but one of the coolest is the recent completion of our second dyno cell. For over 10 years, we've used Dynapack to do all our chassis dyno work. They're extremely accurate and repeatable, and at the time, they were the only hub dyno available. Manufactured in New Zealand, they remove all of the variation that tyre slip, tyre pressure and tie down method can cause. A key feature for us on the Dynapack is the 48 channel data acquisition that we can use to monitor every aspect of engine parameters while doing development testing. In the last three to five years, hub dynos have become the industry standard the world over. With multiple projects happening concurrently at Harrop, we had the need to build the second cell to increase the capacity to develop calibrations and hardware while also supporting customers through Harrop Performance Center. The selection process for the dyno for the second cell was made easy with Mainline releasing their Pro Hub. Being Australian made, Todd and the guys are fantastic to work with, so let's take a look at our new cell. The rooms have been designed and built by Harrop with the help of an acoustics engineer who did the soundproofing panels. Our goal was 85 decibels outside the room with a loud car. We've had race cars on the dynos and we've seen max of 87 decibels which is excellent when you consider we've got 30 to 40 guys that are working just outside the dyno cells, including supercharger assembly that's happening just next door. One of the key reasons we selected the mainline Pro Hub was the ability to handle high output cars. With the Dynapack, with its hydraulic or water control absorbers, we often max out the torque limit once you take account of the transmission and final drive ratio. You simply don't have that issue with the mainline Pro Hub and its eddy current absorbers. Apart from the soundproofing, another great feature on these cells is the volume of air that we can move. We've got twin inlet and twin exhaust fans on both cells with the ability to move 1500 cubic meters of air per minute across the car. Another awesome technology partner feature of the new room is our ability to have no air lines or reels and go battery and cordless with Milwaukee tools. Our engineering team love using Milwaukee impact ratchets, wrenches and drivers. Going cordless has created a cleaner and safer environment for our team. A feature we love on the Pro Hub is the ability to tune the transmission by running the car up through the gears at full load. We also optioned the emissions analyzer so we can do emissions testing right here at Harrop on the dyno. Having recently commissioned the dyno, the obvious question we asked ourselves was how accurate is the mainline Pro Hub comparatively to the Dynapack next door. So we've got this 2019 Z01 Camaro. We're gonna run it up with the same calibration and same hardware, same day, and look at the comparison. We ran the Camaro up on the mainline Pro Hub first thing in the morning and we saw a peak power of 506 kilowatts. We've moved it over to the Dynapack and its result with a slightly higher air temperature is 499 kilowatts. So back to back, same day, same car, same hardware, same calibration, we're seeing a seven kilowatt difference, which is a little over 1% which is a great testament to hub dyno technology and the repeatability. And it's exactly why Harrop uses this technology to develop our superchargers and hardware systems.